Hello, fellow trainers. Beth here for your tip of the day. Escape rooms. They have blown up over the last few years and have become pretty popular. And I'm pretty sure quite a few have probably even attended one. But for those of us that may not know what an escape room is, an escape room is a physical adventure game in which players solve a series of puzzles and riddles using clues, hints, and strategies to complete the objectives at hand. So why am I talking about an escape room in a training tip of the day video? Well, within a training environment, the classroom can be used as an escape room and the course content can be used to create the puzzles and riddles. So when would you want to use an escape room? Well, you can use it to review content either before lunch, at the end of the day, or at the end of the entire session. Or you could use it to promote communication and collaboration within your teams. So let me give you a few tips and guidelines to follow when designing an escape room. So first of all, you'll need to get some materials like locks or lockable containers, blacklight pens, UV flashlights, secret codes, magnets, things like that. The puzzles the learners need to solve to win or escape don't have to be complicated. They can include things like questions following a required reading and the answers could contain certain letters that are highlighted. Or you can have math problems where the numbers are a lock combination. You could have a riddle about a course topic. So those are just a few guidelines with what to include in the puzzles. But feel free to go overboard with your theme, make it fun and engaging, mix up the puzzles and the tasks. And tell your learners that they are now trapped in a room and can't leave until they have successfully completed all the tasks needed to review the content from the day. They will have to work as groups to do so. And each group will be given an escape pack <laughs> where all the necessary materials to escape will be included. And each team is then competing against the clock against other teams to get out first. You also want to determine if learners can self-validate answers or if they need to check with you, the game master, after solving each task. Now, to be a good game master, it's akin to being a good trainer. The best trainers allow learners to engage with problems, explore, learn, and intervene only when it's needed to avoid being overly frustrated. So a good game master needs to understand when players need a hint and when they need to be left alone to continue to work. You also want to make sure that you're not making it so challenging that it's too difficult to solve. So it's often good to make one or two fairly simple tasks to help build the confidence to make learners more eager to continue. And that's my tip of the day on how to design escape rooms.